Our next guest is fitness phenom taking social media by storm. CEO and founder of Bikini Boss Fitness, Teresa Di Pasquale. There you go. <laughs> She's an entrepreneur and fitness expert and author who has made her mark internationally in the fitness industry. Good morning, Teresa. Good morning. Last time you were here, we were talking about getting over that mental block and you were talking about how important it is to actually plan your exercises. Yes, ma'am. Yep. And now we're talking, you still might not have a lot of time in the gym, but you're saying you don't need to stress. There are ways that you can maximize the time that you do have there. Absolutely. I think, you know, one of the biggest things that I hear from women is, oh, I don't have enough time. Or, you know, if I miss the workout, it's like, I might as well not even go. They have this all or nothing mentality. Yeah. And so I try to explain to them, it's consistency, not perfection. Okay. So even if you can't get to the gym and you missed your workout that was scheduled in your book, like I explained, um, even if you have a pair of dumbbells at home, there's so many things you can do in 10, 15, 20 minutes that are still so much more effective than doing nothing. So that's what I want to talk about today. We'll give you a couple of tips on how to really maximize your workout if you only have 15, 10, 20 minutes. Okay, and so you're saying don't give up at all. You can't make it to the gym. You can do you these can things. You can still it, accomplish a lot, absolutely. Okay, that makes me feel a little bit better, but let's break it down. I was yep. gonna say, I, you've got your dumbbells here. So the first thing I always tell people is if you only have a short amount of time and you want to do a workout, make sure you're using your legs. You know, everyone's scared of doing squats and lunges because they're like, oh, you're going to be sore. Well, your leg muscles are your biggest, your biggest muscle group, so okay. you're going to burn the most calories and the most fat. So when oh, you're okay. planning a workout, you know, you can do air squats, you can do lunges, you can do squat jumps if you're more advanced at home. Let me actually take a step back. Do you, what if you're in the situation, do you want to worry about cardio or go lifting if you have short amount of time? You, I would absolutely, if I had to choose, I would go for weights. You'd go because, for weights, absolutely, okay. Absolutely, because when you build lean muscle, that's going to increase your fat burn. Okay. And it's going to work after the workout's over too, whereas cardio is just burning calories during the workout. Okay, so we've yep. got that established, we've got the weights, mm -hmm. short on time, yep. want to focus so on the So leg legs. workouts is number one. Number two is choose workouts that, they're called hybrid workouts, which means you're going to use two different exercises at once. So I brought these, I was going to show you one. Yes, please. So like for example, um, these may be heavy for beginners, but I just have 15 or pounds me. here. So let's say that you want to do like a squat bicep curl, okay? Oh, okay? So I'm using two muscle groups at once. I'm using my legs, like I told you, and I'm also using my upper body. So it's going to make the workout more of a high intensity workout. So you're going to burn more fat and calories. Oh, okay. um, another one would be like, if you want to do a squat with a dumbbell row. So like, we'll do that yeah. again. So we'll do, here's a few of them. So you squat, come up, row. So these are called hybrid exercises because you're using your entire body. And I've seen that the popularity of these increasing, but I didn't necessarily understand it's why. It's because they're a lot more effective at burning fat. Okay, mm -hmm. so it, basically combining the two exercises yep. together, doing them in repetition. And the last thing is, don't rest. You really want to push yourself. If you only have 10, 15, 20 minutes, you want to do as many exercises back to back, and you oh. want to really get it to a point where you have to rest. Don't just rest because you're like, oh, I need to take a minute rest in between. No, if you're doing a short, high intensity fat burning workout, you need to make sure you're really pushing yourself and you're getting to the point where you can barely talk. Okay. So you're, you know, you're, you're Still really- Still getting the heart rate up. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. you want to make it effective. Well, what are, so I know you've always bring your tips to break down so viewers at home can take some information. Let's take a look at some of those tips that we talked about today. Yep. Again, we just hit the hybrid exercises and of course the training your legs, say and focus on that first. And I always tell people there's so much information out there now. Um, like obviously in my book I have a lot, but you can Google it, you can YouTube. There's so many different exercises if you're looking, if you don't know what you're doing, you can look up tutorials and find different ones. So. so it's making it easy and then of course yep. increase that intensity. So really you're saying necessarily, don't necessarily put like a, a rep amount on it, just kind of focus Ideally, on Ideally, yeah, if time. you're gonna have it, but the biggest excuse I hear is that they don't have time. So I'm just saying, honestly, do anything is better than nothing. True. You just wanna be consistent. Okay, yep. well we really appreciate your tips as always. Thank, Thank you, you, Teresa. Next time I promise I'll be doing some lifting with you. All right. <laughs> I better be careful what I say. Huh? <laughs> well, yes, I'm gonna hold you to it. <laughs> For more information on Teresa's company, just log on to BikiniBossFitness.com.